Hey, what's up guys? Your average wargamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And today I am going to be featuring a very interesting battleship in the game. Probably the most oldest as well. Well, that is a Tirpitz. A very very historical battleship in World of War 2. As well as it is still in my opinion a very good battleship. So, the Tirpitz, well... As you can able to see, uh, it has almost 70,000 HP pool, does have torpedoes and have really really good secondaries with 380mm guns. So well, before I'm gonna talk about this gameplay, I would really recommend you to su uh, subscribe to my channel because I upload daily videos related to World of Warships and anything that you really want or request would be very much appreciated. I will definitely upload something related to it. So, Tirpitz, you can clearly see, well, <laughs> that was a very, you know, sad result for me, like taking on Zara, but someone did smash that poor guy, and he lost almost all the HP, which basically makes him limited in everything right now. On the other hand, that you can able to see, that the dispersion of the Tirpitz is not that bad, and I mean, 318mm guns, if someone broadside, you will definitely going to get damage in in this case i will get double citadels on that poor Bidioni. well that's the thing about the purpose i really really sort of like this because you can able to do really good things with it i find it very comfortable and enjoyable and you will see it still have a whole lot of punch when it really requires you to do the good stuff and here again got another citadel to that poor Bidioni. he was broadsiding all the time and that helped me to get my first blood. Again, good results. Somehow I didn't manage to get any Citadel on Zara. But, well, that is a good thing that I got the Bidioni. Well, the secondaries of the Tirpitz is good. But it is a really reliant on when you will have a chance to push in this ship. 380mm guns also mean that when you are playing in this tier. Like, look at that matchmaking. It is tier 8 and below, which basically means that if there is any battleship that is tier 7 or tier 6, well, you will actually be able to overmatch that, and that is a really, really good thing. So, in this case, I'm doing exactly that. I'm getting good penetration hits on that poor Nagaro. And Nagaro obviously is broadsiding for some reason, which he should not do right now, because dispersion of the triplets is not the best, but it's still pretty good in my opinion, and, I mean, you can be able to do great damage consistent damage somehow um, somewhat i would say but uh, it works for me on the other hand obviously uh Tripitz has quite a bit of armor on the side or you know on the deck as well so i mean if the battleships try to shoot you on a broadside you're probably not going to get citadels but you will take a whole lot of damage and so you have to be very careful when you are showing broadside even though you don't get citadel, well, you will take a lot of damage. And you will be able to clearly see in this video that uh, in a couple of areas that I did show broadside, I take in some damage. Again, this is the thing that you have to be very careful in German battleships. I mean, Tirpitz and Bismarck are basically sister ships. And they play quite a bit exactly the way they are right now. But key difference is, is that the Tirpitz has torpedoes. And obviously... Bismarck has Hydro, so that is some couple of things to understand. On the other hand, I say I do like that it's a premium. I love this ship a lot much more. Bismarck is also good, but uh, torpedoes, having torpedoes means that you can absolutely able to brawl. And in this case, I am pull pushing on in this flank. The enemy team basically around the IJ line. And that basically helps me in uh, pushing where I have to do some good damage. Still have great HP right now. Can do great job out there. The Bayern is obviously... Uh, uh, or, I mean the battleships uh, all the way are just going towards the HI line. Which is kind of weird. But you can clearly see the dispersion right now that uh, I throwed towards the NC. It was pretty okay. And But somehow I managed to get a Citadel hit which is... Which is surprising because I was, yeah, literally thought that it it's a bad aim, but well, still get the results, and I mean that's how this game works. Uh, 
is very interesting to see in the in the score right now that I have four citadels. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is. The Albe Marley obviously is a very vulnerable ship, but obviously he got angled, somehow managed to get over penetrations rather than getting any damage. And he survived. Which is actually pretty disappointing. And obviously in the you will see in the late game that he will be a problematic here. He will just keep gonna try to strike me and shoot me while staying angled like this. And obviously there is La Galassanair and Bismarck that I have to handle. So that is also something that I have to keep in mind. So I was looking to push really hard and that's what I'm doing. La Galassanair and Bismarck are something that I can definitely handle in my triplets. And I mean I did 71,000 damage as well which is good for like sniping ships. But still it is very important that you do what you need to do here. And again, uh, Albe Marley sort of showing broadside, but he turned in again and that sucks for me. <laughs> I literally wanted to take uh, good shots on that guy, at least killing him so that he won't be able to spam HE on me. So, uh, if you're able to see, uh, well, there's something that I want to tell. Well, if you look at the, you know, fires that I got, I have gotten two fires on the superstructure. And what that means is that I don't have fire prevention. And the reason why I don't have fire prevention is that I focus my tripits fully uh, on basically heals as well as on secondaries. Uh, as well as obviously I have put an IFHE which can actually help me a bit in doing good damage to these uh, battleships that has 32mm armor. But obviously you can able to see uh, that uh, I'm taking a lot of damage by getting double permanent fires again so that's a quite of a bit of a downside right now but anyways i know that hopefully my heals will come back up and uh, i will be able to do something here like somehow this lagal acera is not dying and albe marley is constantly constantly trying to farm me so it's not easy life interprets still no matter what somehow the z41 smoked up that is uh, something that i was not expecting which is pretty good. I just uh, managed to survive a bit. The third Bismarck is basically not... Uh, well, the Bismarck did not realize that uh, I'm in the smoke and he's not popping Hydro, which is uh, kind of weird. So, well, pop the heal. And then I know that if the Bismarck is broadside... I mean, Bismarck is broadsiding as well, but I am also broadsiding, so he will do a lot of good damage as well, I think. But you can clearly see it's not easy interprets the push could be you know a lot much more risk than a reward and that's what the that's what really the problem of these uh, battleships here and look at that like he did like a almost 11k damage so yeah interprets you know if you are not fully angled well you will take a lot of damage and that's what i happen to get there kill the bismarck and lager lessener now i'm focusing the other flank the game is almost over but you can able to see that uh, timely pushes are important to win the matches and I did what I have to do here in Tirpitz. Uh Getting or I mean showcasing how to brawl in a Tirpitz, and literally that's what happened here. Did my best and got good results surviving as well. Uh, 1.2 million potential here and uh, their enemy team like the enemy team is obviously pushing and uh, i was thinking that uh, whether should i push or not but uh, since my hp is only 15000 i know that the enemy team will definitely going to focus me so got to be very careful so i have realized that i have to get into the enemy camp which is basically free to cap right now there is not even destroyer close to me because it is spotted right in front of my urn so Getting my heals back, 1.2 million potential, and somehow spotting damage is also 87,000, which is really, really strange for me. In a battleship, getting that much spotting damage is definitely interesting. <laughs> so, yeah. But hey, at least I'm getting good results, interprets, and you can clearly see if you are angle interprets like this, and speed juke, which I did here, well, you can tank quite a bit potential damage, and I know that, uh, well, if I, if I stay in kiting position, I can tank quite a bit here. And again, the overmatch that I did in Bayern, like Turpin's 380mm guns overmatching him. It's a tier 6 battleship, so there's that. Trying to focus firing him down. The Bayern is obviously, he's still pushing. 
and oh my goodness okay <laughs> that nc just uh, literally able to manage a good salvo somehow managing to get a really good 12k damage but yeah that's the weakness of turpits <laughs> but on the other hand my superstructure is fully fully saturated and i mean i only have one heal left but since i've said i'm using the repair party readiness well that will help me quite a bit combat scout okay you can clearly see that the combat scout is uh, well it's very unusual for a battleship to get but uh, especially in a turpets but well i'm getting here spotting ships somehow i'm not sure how but <laughs> okay and yeah trying to tank as much as i possibly able to uh, 1.7 million and now i have only one heal left which i actually have to use it right now since the massachusetts is just focus firing me hard and well i remain angled and sort of able to survive myself from this problem again the enemy team is keep shooting me i'm trying to do like good damage here like 150k damage on a tier 8 battleship is pretty pretty good in my opinion i i, I mean i have done my job tanked everything that i possibly able to and well <laughs> citadel on massachusetts here and obviously you can clearly see i got healed because i got 2 million potential so i instantly popped that heal and that basically helped me into surviving quite a bit more and yeah 2.1 million potential for turpits I, I really love that at that time to see that i'm getting that much good results from the heal uh, builds that i'm doing here albe marley obviously is still a problem he was a constantly you know pain to deal with and he's exactly again doing the same problem getting some damage but now even though i wanted to basically kite away i have no chance and the thing happened here is that i'm going to eat akatsuki turps and that will going to that basically going to kill me here and yeah that's basically it for me so that is my game in turpits you can clearly see that turpits if you play it well like this it can be a really really strong ship and so it's basically the game over so uh finally we got a win we basically able to do the thing that we wanted and uh 165k damage three kills uh combat scout confederate plus blood and high caliber that is great thing for to see uh i mean secondary build is good but it could be a bit of a uh, trade-off since well pushing is still very difficult in battleships currently in the game team score wise 2.5k base xp way much higher than any ship right in this uh, team score hatsuharu 1.8k base xp and i have 2.5 which basically makes me very happy that it was a good result so triplets is a great ship and i really like it to play in random sometimes so if you really like the turpits and if you want to brawl in a battleship this battleship is not that bad good german battleship still after so many years so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you into the next one peace out